In this problem, we are using some facts about chords and radii and diameters uh, to figure out the lengths of some uh, segments in a circle. We've got kind of a complicated diagram here, but uh, it should all uh, become pretty clear when we start putting in the numbers. The two essential facts that we need to apply here, one is that if a diameter or radius is perpendicular to a chord, so you can see here we've got these 90 degree angles where a radius cuts through this chord. If When that happens, it cuts the chord in half. It bisects the chord. So this side is equal to this side. And same over here. The other fact is that if two chords are the same distance to the center of a circle, so if the distance of this chord to the center and this chord to the center are the same, then the chords are the same length. And vice versa, if the chords are the same length, then they're the same distance to the center. So those are the two facts we need to apply here. We're, we've also been given quite a bit of information. So let's fill this information that we have in on our, our diagram. First, it says QR equals 20. So this is 20. And we, I just got done saying that if you have a perpendicular radius or diameter, it bisects the chord. That means this side is 10 and this side is 10. OK. Next, it says RV equals 10. Aha, so this is 10. And again, we have another perpendicular uh, radius. So that means this side is 10. Aha, so that means this chord is 20. So these chords are congruent. That means they're the same distance from the center. And this says VZ equals 7. So this distance here is 7. That means this distance over here has to be 7 as well because the chords are congruent. So they're the same distance from the center. All right, I think that's all um, the information that we have. Let's see what the questions are. Uh, we, oh, wait, it, it, they said SV equals 2x plus 2. So SV is 10. So we can say 2x plus 2 equals 10. And then we can just solve for x to get the value of x. So subtract 2 here. We get 2x equals 8 divide by 2, and we get x equals 4. OK, so x is 4. And then we want to find the measure of a segment uz. And we already marked that in. It's the same as this segment over here, because the chords are congruent. So that is 7. So that's a little bit of work with the properties of chords and uh, radii and diameters.